was a good victory, you know, having such a, a rough start to the day, so it was good. I just woke up, worst headache I've ever had, man. I just uh, couldn't, all day I was just laying in bed, tired, my shoulders were sore. I don't, I don't know, it was just everything that was going wrong, going wrong. I forgot my damn key to my Harleys. My f***ing Harleys out there stuck now, and it was just a, this, just a day. Uh, but, and it's in the back, you know, talking with Greg, trying to figure out, like, get going. It's just like grinding metal, man, trying to get through first gear, man. I couldn't, couldn't do it. And Greg's like, this is what we train for, man, to beat someone on your worst day. So go out there and get it done. Be the storm, cowboy. So it was good. And afterwards, I think you surprised everybody by, by calling out for a title shot at 155 pounds. Why do you think that's the right fight for you next? Oh, I don't know if it's the right fight. It's just a fight I want to do. I don't, I don't know what is right for cowboy. I don't know what's ne what I'm doing tomorrow. So, uh... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, but uh, I'm sure Joe, well, I'm probably not leaving here until I get another fight. That's probably what's going to happen. I'm going to go play on the fight tomorrow, and then Monday I'll be at the office like, what's up? Normally I just say I'll take anyone anywhere, you know, like I don't care who I fight next, blah, blah, blah. And then the UFC always tell us, if you want to fight, let us hear about it. So, God, there we go. I'm letting someone hear about it. Let's go. It's, you know, that was my, I think, 33rd or 32nd walk in Zufa. It's time, man. Let's uh, let's start making some calls and making some moves. So that's that's kind of where I'm at. Greg just sat down with me for about a 15-minute conversation and said, Cowboy, I'm with you in the trenches wherever you want to go, but I just don't think 55 is a smart move for you, man. You're fucking your body going that low. And uh, so, yeah, they're already on it. They're already they're like, but we know you're going to do it, so let's get prepared. I want to fight really bad in New York, man, so... Whatever avenue I got to take to get, get on the New York card, that's all I want. Uh, that's a couple months and plenty of turnaround time for me. So Tied Matt Hughes for the third most wins in UFC history tonight. Only people ahead of you are uh, George St. Pierre and Michael Bisbing. I asked you this question in Ottawa, and I'm going to ask you again. What do you think you mean to this company right now, <laughs> and how does that play going forward? Well, I just talked with Ari, and uh, they seem very happy with me. So um, I see big things with this company. I, I feel like... I feel like I'm a veteran in the sport, man, and, and and I love it. I love fighting for the UFC. Like I said, this is my this is my my drug, and uh, I need I need it as much as I possibly can. I feel like a crackhead up here, already already looking for another fight, and uh, so it's good.